Well, I'm here in the very august uh, British Library talking to uh, Claire and to Morris about uh, Prime Thinkers. And this is a wonderful get-together, uh, partly uh, brokered by the RSA. But Morris, before we get going, tell me about Prime Thinkers. Right, well, Prime Thinkers is, is groups which try to assist small companies or companies that have some type of issue that they would like brainstormed on and it what happens is is we invite a presenter who has that issue and he will present to 10 prime thinkers who will then brainstorm for an hour to try to develop new concepts and ideas to further develop their company uh, we do it both for charities voluntary agencies and all types of startups or business that exist already. We charge £75 that goes directly to charity, uh, and in fact that is in increased by another £75 by a sponsoring accountancy company. So that's what it's all about. We're looking to develop more groups to assist more new companies and at the same time donate to charity. So just let me clarify, the presenter pays the £75, the prime thinker gives their time voluntarily. So, Morris, when we first met about this, I thought it was just a brilliant way in which uh, RSA fellows, of which you're one, other people could mix together the volunteering, the help for enterprise, the benefit to charity, and so forth. But Claire, Claire Harris, you're, uh, you tell me about what you do, but tell me also why British Library is interested in this. The British Library has a business and IP centre which helps entrepreneurs start their business, grow their business and it helps an inventor take their idea to market and what better way really to get across that the library is here for everybody, it's here for networking, it's here for making connections and inspiration and the best way is to make some noise, invite some good friends and tell more people exactly about what we do. And we've, you know, we've even got some drinks here, we've got food over there, people are having great chats and so forth. People might have a slightly stuffy conception of the British Library, but it doesn't feel like that here. So is this a new venture or are you doing more of this? Uh, we're doing this every day. The Business and IP Centre, it's got resources and collections that have always been at the heart of the library. But the centre as it is opened 2006 and anybody with a library card can come in, use our resources, make use of our experts and take part in the sessions that our really clever partners, Prime Thinkers, one of them, come in and do on our behalf and help our users. I tell you what this connects with for me is I'm hearing from government, local government, other people. We've got away, got to get away from just storing documents and books and so forth, which is kind of knowledge repositories into helping people actually talk to each other, tell each other stories, the anecdotes, the informal, and so forth. Is this one of those examples? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Morris. He's a very good partner here. Um, definitely, there's. There's certainly a place for um, proper, correct research. There is a place for every, anybody starting or running a business to look into their market research, don't rely on Google searches, look into the right publishers, but also look into trade directories, look into business news, look into company data. But alongside that, you're not going to thrive. You need to network. You need to have events where you make connections, where you can share your skills, make connections with people who've been there and done it and are happy to help and give their advice and help you. You need to research, you need to know the facts. You also need to make a good network of connections, build your customer base and build up a great brand. We're trying to do that tonight. We're trying to tell people about what we do, shout about the great stuff we do that we're doing all the time. It's free. Uh, we work with other great people that make their services free or seriously subsidised. And we just need to tell more and more people about it. That's where the RSA can help.